It's Anne from Heart of a Single Mom, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Plano Balloon Festival Half Marathon that happened yesterday, and just give you a little recap about it. Um, I was so wiped yesterday after the race, I just didn't have the energy to talk. So here we are tonight, and it was, it was good in many ways, and then other ways not so much, and I'll tell you why. When we walked outside and got to the starting line, we checked the temperature, and it was 90% humidity. Awful. It was, my glasses were, my sunglasses were steaming up. It was just, the air was so thick. I felt like I was in Florida. So, um, it was just awful humidity. So, my plan was to try and stay with the 235 Pacers. They were doing the run-walk intervals that I wanted to do, 90-second run, 30-second walk. And I thought if I could stay with them through the entire race, I would PR my half marathon time by a minute. So that was the plan. Not so much, though, about mile four-ish. Um, somewhere around mile one, one and a half is when we hit Los Rios Boulevard. And that goes up, hill, down, and up the hill again. And... Um, we were going at about 11 minute, 30 second pace, and that was, it was just killing me in the heat. In fact, because I was pushing myself so much, I felt like for the first time ever in all my running that I wanted to throw up on the side of the road. I didn't, but I did not feel good going up that hill. So we got to the top of the hill, ran down, got in some neighborhoods, and it was around mile four-ish that... I started pulling back further from them, and part of that is because I saw the balloons as we rounded the corner, about to go up a hill in one of the neighborhood streets. Um, I stopped, stopped to get some pictures of the balloons because I was super excited. We didn't get to see the balloons at either of the races last year because of the weather. So I was excited that both races this year we got to see balloons. Um, and then as I rounded the corner to go up Ranch Estates, um, which I had been training on for my long runs throughout the summer, um, there was a white horse in the front yard of one of the homes, which I hadn't seen during my training runs, so I stopped for a selfie. He was so beautiful. And then a little bit up ahead of that, one of, our one of the neighbors there, who's actually one of my old students, um, my friend Stacy had put a sign up in her yard that said, Go Anne. Her husband had put it up for her because she was going out of town. So, of course, I took a selfie with them. And by that point, the 240 Pacers were passing me. And I was like, ah! So I was trying to keep up with them. Um, I think probably about mile five or six, I was like, yeah, it's not happening. It was just so hot and it was so hard. Um, and I was starting to swell. And so I was having to take some of my salt tablets. And... Um, around a little bit before mile six, Wanda, my friend Wanda and I caught up with each other and I just told myself, you know what, you're not going to PR, it's not the end of the world, 
my dear friend Jamie had told me, she's like, you don't have to PR every race. So I just said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to finish and I'm going to finish with Wanda because I want to finish with my friend and stay with her. So um, we just we kept going about mile seven and a half. You, we got applesauce. Um, I, somewhere around mile seven, started taking some goo just to get some electrolytes and get a boost there. Um, but it was super, super hot. Um, then mile 10 through 12 is pretty much, it's on Oak Point Preserve. Uh, yeah, we're on mile 12. And it's not covered at all. Maybe a lot, a mile 11 and a half is covered a little bit. We were covered in trees and we got shade there. But other than that, we were in the bright sun from pretty much most of miles 10 through 12. It was so hot. Did I tell you that it was hot? So, um, and mile, right before mile 12 was the last water stop. And I will say this, play, I ran a race last spring where it was not great. They, they ran out of water in some spots and it was super hot at that race too. But Plano Balloon Festival did a great job with this race. There were plenty of water stops and there was water and Gatorade at both stops so you could have your, your fill. And then um, the volunteers were awesome. So if you volunteered and gave up your Sunday morning to be out there, thank you so much because you cheering for us, because there were so many of them just cheering and screaming. They made signs for us. There was never a question as to which direction the race you were supposed to go, so you never got lost through the neighborhoods. Um, the police department was out there, the fire department. So thank you, thank you so much because um, you made the race durable for us and um, we couldn't have done it without you. Um, i trying to think. So we, I knew, I was hoping that at mile 11 I would get to see my girls, but because some of the, the road to get to the path was block, blocked off. My friend Robin couldn't bring the girls back there. So I knew I would see them at the finish. And sure enough, as we rounded the corner and we're getting ready to cross the finish line, I hear a cowbell go in and I see two little girls jumping up and down, screaming for their mommy, holding little signs that they made. So, so exciting. And it just made my day because I love it when they're out there to cheer for me at the races. Um, right before we were about to cross the finish, my friend Wanda got a really bad cramp in her right calf, which has never happened to her during her races. So that's an indication of how hot it was for us. Um, we crossed the finish. I also had an old student that, well, not an old student, he's a current student. I had a student with, um, that showed up to cheer for us as we crossed the finish. And he made a sign, which I left at school today. But it was super excited that he was there to represent the rest of my choir kiddos and just be there to support me through that. Um, so we crossed the finish, and then I immediately had to sit down. I was dumping water on my head. I was drinking water because I could just feel that I was going to pass out. Um, so I tried to let my heart rate come down and cool off. Then we went and got our medals. And then we got in line to wait um, for a picture with the backdrop and I could just see spots coming in front of my eyes and I knew I'm like, I'm going to pass out. So I just sat down right there in line for the picture, drinking water and drinking water, got up when it was our turn for the picture, took the picture, could still feel that I was not doing well. And we were about to go ahead and get food, and I was like, I need to sit again. So we sat on the curb, and my girls were so sweet. They were getting me Gatorade and water and just, here, Mommy, drink, drink, just to make sure that I got through it okay. And then um, finally, my body settled, got somewhat back to normal, and we went and had breakfast. They had a great breakfast for us. It was eggs and bacon and hash browns and a cinnamon roll and a packet of the Go Squeeze, Go Go Squeeze applesauce. Then you could get coffee or juice. And then they had this water there, body armor, superior hydration. So um, we grabbed some of those too to help us. Um, and there, I was so tired afterwards. I was not sticking around for any of the festivities. I was done. I was toast. Um, I didn't PR it, um, but it's okay. I did it. I got the medals. 
it was awful, awful heat. Um, so I survived it, and I'm I'm happy with that. We like Plano Balloon Festival does a great job, and the only reason I did not like the race as much as I did last year is because of the weather. And the Plano Balloon Festival can't they can't control that. So you know it it is what it is, and you know I did it. I pushed through. I didn't give up, and that's what matters is that you just keep pushing no matter what. It was. But other than that, the race was great. They they put on a good race. They are very well organized, and it's a good event. Will I do it again next year? Yes, definitely. Oh, I didn't show you the bling. Would you like to see the bling? So, this, oh, sorry. This is the half medal, and it's really cool because the, like on the 5K yesterday, they go up and down. So isn't it pretty? And then here is the Sky High Challenge medal, and that's for running the 5K, which I did on Saturday with Lilaboo, and then the half marathon yesterday. This is very pretty. So these were well earned. I don't care how fast I ran, how much I had to walk to keep going in the race. I, I did it. I got out there and I did it, so I'm good with that. And Lila Boo and I are already signed up for our next 5K to uh, together. We're going to do the... Plano Haunt Jaunt, which is a night race, and I'm excited to share that with her. Um, there's no medal, but it's still, it's probably the only race that I'll do without a medal. Um, it's fun. It's a fun night race. They have costumes, um, people that come out and act scenes. It's a spooky Halloween fun run. Not fun run, mile run, but it's a run that's fun. Um, and then they have great vendors out there, and we get In-N-Out Burger afterwards. So I'm excited to share that with her and then have my fabulous cheerleader, eight-year-old, out there for me too. But until then, I just wanted to give you a quick recap of the race. It was good and tough, but it's done. So thanks for watching, and until next time, see you soon.